I remember like after he passed, then I started meeting people who loved Bruce and people who knew Bruce started telling me a lot of stories, how they've been influenced, you know, uh, you know, by, by your dad. Mm -hmm. And uh, for example, you know, there was one time I was in Hong Kong and got into a taxi cab and uh, this guy was driving in, like I said, you know, like before I, I was quite famous. So people recognized me sometimes. Mm -hmm. So the driver, taxi driver was looking back in the rear view mirror and saw me and he said, hey, aren't you Robert Lee, Bruce, Bruce's brother? And I said, yeah, yeah. He said, you know what? Without your dad, you know, um, I wouldn't be where I am today. Mm -hmm. I said, what? <laughs> what do you mean? You know, really curious then. Yeah. And he said, you know, <clears throat> He said before, you know, anything, he said, uh, when I grew up, he said, I, uh, I was a, 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 a ruffian, you know, uh, a guy who does nothing but bad stuff, you know, mm -hmm. going to gangs and, you know, fighting and so forth. Then he said, you know, uh, I saw a Bruce Lee movie. Okay. And then I really got, you know, hooked on, on, on the way he moves and all that stuff. Then he said, I watched another one. Then the third one. And he said, you know, from, all those movies, somehow I got that lesson telling me to, you know, to, to do good, you know, to be, you know, uh, uh, righteous, okay, and not go on the bad side, you know. He said, I will make something of myself.